For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from Digestive Disease Week in New Orleans, Louisiana. The risk of cancer progression in patients with non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus may be overestimated, according to a multi-center study of 1,204 adults. Barrett's esophagus is a well-recognized pre-malignant condition for the development of esophageal adenocarcinoma. Unfortunately, the true incidence of cancer in Barrett's esophagus has not been well defined. The cohort studies that have reported on the natural history of Barrett's esophagus have reported a wide variation in the progression rates to cancer, rates ranging from 0.2% to 3.5% per year. So in order to truly define the incidence rates of dysplasia and cancer, we set out to do the study. What was the most interesting about your results? Ours was a, a multi-center outcomes project that involved five centers, which were tertiary care centers with a special interest in Barrett's esophagus. And in our database, we had patients uh, with non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus, and actually we had more than 1,200 patients that met our inclusion criterion. And the most surprising uh, thing about our results were that the incidence rates of cancer were almost half of what has been reported previously. For example, the incidence of cancer was 0.27% per year, and the rate that we frequently quote in previous studies has been about 0.6% per year. The other interesting aspect of our study, which has not been done too often before, is defining the endpoint as high-grade dysplasia or cancer. And I think this is a really important estimate for health service providers because high-grade dysplasia is now increasingly being recognized as an actionable diagnosis. So based on our analysis, we defined the incidence of high-grade dysplasia or cancer as 0.63% per year. So again, another important estimate that that we all need to be aware of. What's the take home message for doctors? Our study uh, defines the incidence rates of um, cancer in patients with non dysplastic Barrett's esophagus, and that is a really low rate of progression. Uh, in addition, uh, the progression rates of high grade dysplasia or cancer have been defined. We believe that these results have significant implications in cost effectiveness of our surveillance protocols. I really like to caution the gastroenterologist contemplating ablation of non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus given the low risk of progression. And I believe that if our uh, studies get duplicated by other large cohort studies, we should consider lengthening of surveillance intervals for patients with non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus. And lastly, I think we should not forget our final goal, that is to truly identify the high-risk population that are likely to progress to cancer um, and are actually going to benefit from surveillance protocols. For Global Medical News Network, this is Heidi Spleet.